Welcome, plant lovers, to another adventure with BioScholar. Today, we're about to embark on a journey deep into the heart of plant growth. Ever wondered how those tiny seeds become towering trees? Well, the secret lies in the world of meristematic tissues. Let's start at the very beginning. What on earth are meristematic tissues? Meristematic tissues are like the superheroes of the plant world. They are specialized plant cells responsible for growth, development, and the production of new cells. Here's a mind-blowing fact. Meristematic tissues are the reason plants can grow throughout their lives. But where exactly do we find these growth powerhouses? Time to distinguish between the two main types apical meristems and lateral meristems. Apical meristems, like the root apical meristem and shoot apical meristem, are found at the tips of roots and shoots. They're responsible for primary growth. Meanwhile, lateral meristems, such as the vascular cambium and cork cambium, reside along the sides of stems and roots, driving secondary growth. But how do these lateral meristems work their magic? Get this. Lateral meristems make plants bulk up. They're the reason why trees can grow wider year after year. Let's uncover the secret behind meristematic tissue's power. Cell division. These remarkable cells are like perpetual motion machines, constantly undergoing mitosis and giving birth to new cells. Here's a question for you. What sets meristematic cells apart from their more laid-back plant cell counterparts? Let's explore the two flavors of meristematic tissues. Primary and secondary meristems. Primary meristems lay the foundation for primary tissues, while secondary meristems step in to create secondary growth. Did you know that the rings in tree trunks are a result of secondary growth by the vascular cambium? Counting these rings can reveal the age of a tree. These meristematic tissues aren't just passive players. They're masters of growth manipulation. The activity of meristematic tissues is meticulously choreographed by factors like hormones, light, temperature, and genetics. But which of these factors is the true puppet master? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And there you have it. The mesmerizing world of meristematic tissues, where growth never stops, and mysteries abound. We've explored their role in plant growth, their types, and even some surprising facts. If you found this botanical adventure exciting, make sure to give us a thumbs up hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss our next journey into the wonders of nature. And remember, if you have more questions or topics you'd like us to explore, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for joining us today on BioScholar, where we make learning about the natural world an exhilarating experience. Until next time, keep growing, just like those meristematic tissues.